What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Sandra. And we're going back to the singles compilation, 1984 to 1990. And we're up to the single and the single version of Heaven Can Wait. This is a phrase I feel I'm familiar with, um, I don't know, maybe just as an idiom, and perhaps it's the name of another song, or maybe it's in different types of entertainment and fiction precisely because it's an idiom, it's an expression that um, predates any of these more famous usages. But yeah, the idea that even the most ideal, utopian, eternally wonderful place has to hang on a minute because you've got something significant enough, important enough, special enough, or powerful enough that you have to see it out first. Um, so the idea is that, you know, presented with an opportunity or an offer that most people would jump at in a moment, um, the person in question is saying, hold on, I actually need to take care of this first. I need to find out, you know, where this ends up. Um, so it suggests great significance um, and perhaps great emotional content for whatever that dynamic or situation is. Um, and yeah, so maybe I've heard it before because again the phrase is familiar, but I feel like that's perhaps just because it's an expression that people will say. Um, nevertheless, let's find out. This is Sandra. The track is Heaven Can Wait, the single version, included in a collection of singles given the title 1984 to 1990. Doesn't sound familiar, but I love that. Hey, came in with a bit more deep swagger than I expected. Quasi, it's 
in particular um, and that that scaling up melody that bum, 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 it was sort of like a almost like a synth brass type of sound but with a bit more like electronic sound uh, really did enjoy that in particular um, and yeah like it sounds um, it sounds complicated uh, emotionally but ultimately it sounds like a you know heaven can wait hell can wait because like you know I'm looking at your eyes and you're looking at me and it sounds like you know they want to see what's gonna happen they want they need to see this through um, either way enjoy her vocals sounded very good um, but yeah I'll admit like the sonics in that one in particular the chorus is the thing that like kept setting my brain on fire every time it would roll around and burst to life again um, and it, again, the first time I heard it, you know, not knowing it's coming, it's like, in particular, um, impactful. So yeah, really cool tune. Um, like I said, one of my favorites from her so far. Uh, and yeah, it's interesting. I've started to go through the Arabesque material, still trying to go through the early stuff, the, the pre-Sander material. Um, but ultimately, there's a lot of that to go through. So it'll be interesting to keep going through this solo material and, you know, as I listen to Arabesque and eventually as we start listening to their tunes with Sandra involved. Um, yeah, it'll just be cool to chart, you know, those two related but, you know, separate timelines. So a uh, big shout out to all the friends and champions of the channel. Do let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>